This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. All right, so we have a little Nordine here, a little two and a half ton. The uh, homeowner thought his fan motor was bad, so he went and bought his own fan motor and his own run capacitor because it was blowing the fuses on the disconnect. And uh, turns out, so he, he called me out because he couldn't get it going. Well, the compressor is grounded. So... We're here today to unhook all this. And you can see they're using BX again for an electrical whip. We're gonna remove the BX and put a seal tight whip, liquid tight, whatever you wanna call it. Now the low voltage is in BX. I don't know the code of that here, but I will leave the low voltage in BX. Um, I don't think that'll hurt, but the high voltage whip will be replaced. So we're gonna start tearing this out and get a new one set. And I wanted to show you all this. It's like they took a piece of 3 8 smashed it on each end, and actually brazed it, I guess to for support to make it rigid. I've never seen any, and they did it back here too. I've never seen anything like that. And I've got to cut this suction line dryer out. I, this, is, this is crazy. Line set runs underground. The, uh, the damn liquid line actually increases in size right there. So I just thought I'd share that with y'all. All right, I got everything cut loose and I'm really happy to see that the copper doesn't increase. It's 3 8 They just, I guess they didn't have a coupling so they used a piece of half inch or something to make a coupling. But it does go back to 3 8 We got three quarter. Copper looks nice and clean. So the burnout did not travel far. It's even clean here. Yeah, you can see there's there's nothing. So uh, my cousin is going to back up the truck to this gate right here and we're gonna offload the new one and get it set in place and start doing some piping. All right, well, we got the new unit set in place, the old Weather King. And uh, we're getting things piped in. We cut all that nasty suction and old filter dryer out. I had to cut it close here, boy, but I got it done because I didn't want to braze back here. And I got a coupling here and come around into the valve. And then I had to do a combination of a street 90 and a street 45 to get the bend here. Um, again, I don't have my benders anymore. I left them with my dad and stuff, but I'm gonna get me another set. So uh, we got that fitted up. I just wanted to get them two back are those three back joints done here and here first and now I can start working from here on forward so uh and then we're going to take out this BX whip and put a new one so we're moving right along all right guys so I'm getting ready to hook up my new whip on this Weather King cube and uh I've seen a lot of guys over here on complain you know about doing electrical I know there was a video one time you, you know you gotta he was complaining you gotta get under here then you gotta stick your fingers back here but guys the way it's intended it is a bad design i totally agree another bad design is these valves they should they should bring them out further because it's hard to get your you know your service tool in here but you have to adapt and overcome this 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 is a good unit it really is other than a you know a couple of the designs and it's priced cheap for jobs like this but if you just simply remove this screw and this screw now, a lot of you may know this already. I'm just helping the guys that don't know. And you take this out. Then you can just hook your whip up, and then I'll hook that BX up that's in the low voltage wire. And then I can I have full access to tighten up the lock nut. And then I will just simply slide it back in place and put my screws in. Nothing to it. All right, we're in a vacuum. Down the 818, line set came out nice. I went ahead and slid the uh, 
rubber techs on there before I braised the last joint because it was a pretty sharp angle and I don't know how good it would have looked with just uh, splicing it. So, got our dryer in, got our new whip in. Everything came out nice. See how tight everything is when you when you take that plate off? You can get to your, you can get to everything. Got our BX for our low voltage. Probably zip tie that to the rubber tech to make that look a little bit neater. But, uh, so we'll let the vacuum pull down a little bit longer and then we'll start this baby up. All right, so we've got this machine running. It's a pretty quiet machine as you can hear. Um, it has a Bristol scroll in it. My supplier said usually three tons and under comes with a Bristol scroll and anything above three tons comes with a, I'm sorry, not a Bristol scroll, a Bristol resip. Three tons and under comes with a Bristol resip anything above three tons comes with a copeland scroll so pretty good running machine actually pretty damn quiet 